Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit different, I'm in my bathroom. Um, but a couple of years ago on my personal blog, I did a couple of posts about taking everyday makeup to evening makeup. And that's what I want to show you today. So I'm going to take it from this um, casual everyday makeup to a more glamorous and sophisticated evening makeup look in just a few simple steps. Step one, get changed. I'm not getting too dressed up tonight, so I'm just putting on some um, leggings, a black top, and then I'm going to wear my heel boots. Okay, step two is to straighten and brush my hair. <laughs> so my hair is now nice and straight. Um, it was a bit wet this morning, so I didn't do anything with it. Okay, step three is to put on some jewellery. I'm just going to put on my Pandora ring and my Pandora bracelet. And my Anna Ciccone Gemini necklace. Okay, step four is to put on some lip scents. I usually wear it throughout the day to be fair, but because I knew we were going out tonight, I didn't wear it throughout the day. Today I've picked Summer Sunset to just brighten up my look a little bit. I'm just gonna shake it. I've already cleaned and dried my lips, so they're all ready to go. Mm. with glossy gloss. So now I'm just going to be using shadow scents. Um, I have a range of colours for different things and I don't really know how to film this because I don't really have anywhere in front of the mirror so I'm going to have to use the mirror here and then do a side angle and I might try and use the viewfinder as a mirror as well so hopefully this goes okay. Um, the fourth step is because I've had this makeup on all day I'm just going to quickly almost buff any oiliness back into my skin. Um, just because I don't want anything awful showing, <laughs> if that makes sense. And I'm going to take candlelight, which if you saw my makeup tutorial is how I use as concealer. And I'm just going to put it over anywhere I think needs a little bit more coverage from the start of the day. So if you just see it, I just put little dots on. And then I'm just going to also put it on my eyelids and use it as a base coat. So step four is basically just touch-ups. And I use a stippling brush for this. And I just bounce it into the skin. I don't know the correct term, but I like the term bounce. <laughs> Now I'm going to do a nice eye look. I'm using this Spectrum brush. I don't know which one it is, but it's basically just a fluffy brush. Um, I'm going to do a really simple eye look today and just use Silver Shimmer, which is just a beautiful silver, for a really simple eye look. And I'm just going to apply this directly to the eyes. And a little really does go a long way, so you don't need a lot. And then I'm just going to blend that in. Because it is a silver, I've brought it down into my inner corner. Okay, so I'm then going to apply Maca Java, which is a light brown, to the very outside edge. And I'm going to take this directly from the tube because you don't need very much. I'm just going to smoke it, the eye out and blend. And same with the other eye, don't need very much, take it off the one. Remembering that where you place the brush first is where it's going to be most pigmented. I 
and then finally I'm just going to take pink opal shimmer, as you can tell I love my shimmers, and apply it just underneath my brow bone. You probably shouldn't, but I'm just going to take a finger and wipe it underneath that brow bone. And that just adds a little bit of highlight and then I'm going to, I don't always do this, but I'm just going to apply it to the inner corner as well. And then blend it in. Okay. So now that my eyes are awake, I'm going to run that underneath. Um, because I'm quite messy, a little tip here is to take your candlelight concealer if you're using, or any concealer that you're using at the time, and just put it underneath your eye, especially the outer edge, I always seem to go there. And I'm just going to pat that in with my finger, so that I have a nice clean eye look. Steps I am going to use a black lash sense, and I really like this because it never ever clumps on me. It seems to get all my ones, but this is somewhere where sometimes where I go wrong as well because um, I'm crap, I'm rubbish at mascara. Unlike all our products, our lash sense is waterproof and long lasting and I quite like um, a thin layer of mascara. If you like a thick layer, it is very buildable and very easy to add layers to. So you can always do that if you like a darker look. Usually that is where I would stop. I think that jazzes up the makeup look quite a bit. So it would be here. But if you want to go the extra mile, this is where contouring and highlights come in. So first of all, I'm going to take... Mocha Java, which is the light brown that we use on the eyes. And I'm going to use that as my bronzer slash contour. Some people use garnet, but it's just too dark for me um, because I am quite pale. And all I'm going to do with this, because I am quite new to contouring and I don't particularly like a heavy look, I'm just going to wipe it off the brush, get a little bit on mine, and then put it in here, the hollow of my cheek. So I'm going to start from the, the, the hairline. And can you see that line? That's how little you need. And I'm doing the same on the other side. So now I look really odd with two lines and I'm just going to get the excess off and then just blend, blend, blend. So as you can see that's blended in nicely. And then I'm going to take a mulberry which is a pinky colour and use it as my blush. I vary between um, pink posy blush scents and mulberry shadow scents. And you just need a tiny dot on the cheeks. And again, you just... The final step is to use a highlighter which I use pink opal shimmer. I think it's just really pretty and I do this, I probably shouldn't but I like highlights so I do it directly on the cheek and you just do it above your bone on the tip of your nose and then above your cupid's bow and then the last step is your brows now I personally don't like doing my brows I think my brows are quite bushy and I don't have the time to um, tweeze but I would just take a little brush like this and mocha java. I've done it a couple of times and I don't mind the way it looks but I don't think it's particularly necessary. But all you do is you um, take the colour from the one and then small brush stroke like, small hair like brush strokes onto your brow. You can also use brow scents which is again another long lasting and waterproof makeup product which is incredible. 
but I quite like sticking with the shadow essences because they are so versatile. So um, this is the final look. how I take my everyday makeup look that's been on for 10 hours and ramp it up into a slightly more um, fun going out makeup look in just under 10 minutes. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll speak to you next time. Bye.